hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Buma. if this is your first time of stopping by on my channel just hit the subscribe button while i dive right into this video so today we'll be talking about um you know comparisons to the two different um cities in the uk the small cities and the big cities yeah every country has its cities that are some are bigger some are more busier while some have very small community and some other cities have lesser people in it so today we'll be talking about um you know which one we think will be optional for you that is going to be watching this video right now it depends on you some people prefer different cities to certain cities like some people prefer stay in the big cities to stay in the small cities it all depends on your personality i think it also depends on your personality and the kind of person you are it also depends on the kind of job you do it also depends on what brought you into the country it also depends on the number of family you have it also depends on the reason why you migrated in the first place is it security is it crime that made you leave your country and migrate to the uk so we have lots of people with different opinion on why they moved abroad so i hope this is going to help somebody out there to make good choices of which of the cities you want to move to which of the cities you likely consider if you are moving right into the UK so um for me I'll be talking about the cost of living yeah obviously the cost of living in the bigger cities are always higher yes they are always higher because the salary basis in the bigger cities are also higher so I think it kind of complements the cost of living in the bigger cities while in the smaller cities we have people that actually earn maybe lower let's say in the big city you're earning 20 pounds per hour in the small city you might be earning 15 to 10 pounds per hour but i see it like they complement each other if i'm living in a bigger city and i'm paying a higher I'm, I'm being i'm earning a higher salary and the cost of living is high it actually balances itself because at the end of the day i might not really have so much to save because i'm putting back everything into the city i'm putting back everything into the high cost of accommodation so i have little or no savings at all so for those in the smaller city it still goes the same way for them because i'll say it's the same thing to me so if you're any smaller and you're paying a smaller rent let's say you're earning 10 pounds per hour or you're earning 12 pounds per hour you're paying a rent of 500 pounds for a two bedroom or three bedroom it's almost the same thing because at the end of the day your salary earning actually still balances the your salary and actually still balances your cost of living in your city so um to me that's what crosses itself out then uh, number two is the crime rate yeah the crime rate in the bigger cities are obviously more um i'll say this because we get a lot of news from other bigger cities about certain things happening that even me here in my city where i live I've never heard before <laughs> so I'll explain to you like there was a time in um, where I stay in the city where I stay I will address my city as a small city uh, yeah I'll address as a small city I stay in the middle in Middlesbrough in the UK yeah I, I'll address as a small city there was a time there was a, an incident of somebody um, I think somebody was drunk and someone come out, came out of his house and he was threatening the guy with a knife the way the news went around the whole city like all of us that were students we heard about it I was like ah that was when it came to my mind that almost like this is the first time I'm hearing about a crime incident in this city. Like I've not heard before, so it was making wave because <laughs> even on their news it was making wave. Meanwhile, these things are things that happen in London on a daily. Like they better even stab the person. Do you understand? But here he just came out of his house and the drunk man was threatening like give me your money, give me your this, give me your that. Obviously that 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 person was maybe a druggie we don't know or he just wanted money to go and get his whatever she sure gets but it made so much wave that it not came to my subconscious that wow this city is actually safe because i really get to hear of knife crimes i really get to hear of all these kind of issues living in this city so that's another difference so the big cities have higher crime rates and the smaller cities i think mm, minimal or sometimes nothing at all because anyone that happens makes waves so the next one we're talking about is um uh big events yeah in the big cities we have big events um if you see me looking down i just jotted out some things because i like to write a lot i don't just like to come out and just pour things out so i just hit my points on my paper so i don't make mistake or i don't jump any point per se so we're going to talk about big events in the bigger cities you have big events if you are next to but you're someone that likes to hang out you like to club you like to bedo you like to go for shows you like to enjoy the small city is not for you because in the small city we have less of those activities we have um, less of people, le less of Nigerian clubs. Yes, I said that. Yeah, we have in Middlesbrough, we don't even have any Nigerian club at all. So for those of you who are looking to come and invest in Middlesbrough, just come and open a club in Middlesbrough. You're going to make a lot of money. So this is just a business 
uh, tip for someone watching this video. So it means that we don't even have any Nigerian club or any black club at all. And there are so many Nigerians here, so I'm even wondering, like, now, wow. But in the bigger cities, Omar, there's competition. There are different clubs, there are different places you can go sit down, drink cocktail, hang out with friends, drink beer. There are places where black people mingle, sit out, you know, try. There are many occasions, oh, one bear activity, you know, just big events just happen. There shows and all that. So that is the difference between the big city and the uh, smaller cities when it comes to having big events so another one is lesser traffic since i've been in middlesbrough i can tell you that i've not experienced traffic even if i experience traffic it's just a traffic light putting us to stop but i've not experienced traffic that will make me huh, frustrated like oh my god i can't wait to get home i've not seen that kind of traffic before but i know in the bigger cities maybe london or manchester or some certain areas they will definitely experience traffic because of the larger number of people in the city so um yeah in the smaller city we don't get to experience traffic and I hope I survive if I eventually think of moving to the bigger city because there's nothing as sweet as you just entering your cab or driving your car from your house to where you're going to without having to stay on traffic and a lot of pollution and all that that happens in the big city. So that's one thing I like about the small city. The big city, they have a lot of, you know, so that's it. Then the bigger city, um, this is a plus for the bigger city because the bigger city has, uh, the bigger city has better airports. The bigger city has better airports yeah they have bigger and better and finer airports and it's easy to locate where you want to go to through their airports like the airport in Middlesbrough that sometimes you want to go to a particular place you have to take a train to Newcastle airport before you can get a train to certain places like I was coming down to I, I was coming down to Belfast there was no train in Middlesbrough Although most times they have well, I'm not saying they don't have but you won't see it as often as maybe if there's one flight a day or two flights a day in Middlesbrough, if you miss that time or it's full, you will not have to fly through Newcastle. So I think they have better and bigger airports. So that's a plus for people in the bigger cities. And I think that's one of the things they actually enjoy. You can just wake up in Manchester and say you want to fly down to, I think, Nigeria. I think if there's a flight from Manchester to Nigeria, I don't know, but I think I've heard somebody say that before, or from Nigeria to Manchester direct yeah so um those are the benefits they enjoy in the bigger city that we in the smaller cities hardly enjoy or hardly you know come across or hardly experience so um that's for it then we have um easy access to shops the smaller cities there are easy access to certain shops because it's more like a small community so if you want to buy something i think sometimes it's just 30 minutes walk and you go and buy what you want to buy because it feels like everybody is just living somehow close to the city center so going to get something in the city center is quite easier for you that is staying in the smaller city than staying in a bigger city most people in the bigger city have to drive all the way down and sometimes it's actually a long drive to go and get something from their stores not like i'm not talking about stores around there i'm talking about sometimes you want to just go to a uh, river island you want to just pick up something from primark you have to drive a lot of distance because a lot of them have the city has expanded that it has a lot of people and they've expanded into other um they've expanded into other house sketch that you won't come to city center you have to drive all the way down to the city center to get what you're looking for so um for the smaller city it's easy access you just come out of your house and boom you're where you want to be in less than a few minutes or in just a few minutes time and that's what i want to talk about i don't want to um make this video too long is the health care <laughs> my dear this is one thing i like about the smaller cities because although it depends on your city anyways although it varies from city to city but i think the bigger city will definitely have this problem because the uk healthcare system is kind of according to them free it's run by the government so the cities that have lesser people it's easier for you to assess an emergency unlike you that is staying in a bigger city so let me for example i have an emergency let me not say not like an emergency that i need to die is it one or 999 I just have an emergency and I just want to take my son to the hospital. In a smaller city, it's easier for them to attend to him than a bigger city because the queue you have in hospitals in a bigger city is definitely more. So you find yourself waiting and there's nothing as bad as when you're in pain or when somebody is like, no, you know, so much pain that you just need a doctor to see you and give you something to calm down whatever pain you're passing through. You see yourself in a queue of about 40 or 50 people on the queue or 30 people on the queue waiting for that same GP. So, but in the smaller cities, we have fewer people so when you go to the hospital it's also fewer people so i don't know if you understand so you get there you just maybe have five ten people on the queue and before you know it's your turn you're seeing your gp 
sometimes I even go to see my GP and I just meet like three people there on the queue waiting. And after that, I'm next, they call me in and voila, that's it. Even booking for appointments, some cities you book for appointment, they give you like three weeks' time. You're telling somebody you're in pain and you need to be treated ASAP. They're giving you an appointment like in three weeks' time. But in the smaller cities, you call and you want to book an appointment, they'll book you for the next upper week. Let's say it depends on how bad the situation might be. They'll book you for appointment the next week. But for the bigger cities, they'll book you maybe one month time. Before that one month, that cough you're calling the doctor for, it never go. You don't go now. So these are the um, um, beautiful things about staying in the smaller city that the big, bigger cities actually do not have. Or it depends on the particular city per se. But I'll say it's one of the beautiful things I love about staying in the smaller city. Then we're going to talk about the real estate. Yeah, the real estate part of living in the UK. Now, how this also... Because I know me, we Nigerians or we blacks, definitely, we like to, uh, my hand gets just, hope they're not too much. We like to buy. I like to move my hand a lot when I'm talking. We like to buy. After working for long term, we like to buy. We don't like to stay in a rented apartment for a very long time. So the smaller cities, I would say, especially down north, the houses there are quite affordable. You can buy houses cheaper. While in the bigger cities, the prices of the houses actually scare you and you start imagining um, I'm buying a house of 300 and something thousand pounds or 500 and something thousand pounds. How long am I going to work to pay off these houses? Meanwhile, someone that is living in the smaller city is purchasing a house for 120,000 pounds, 150,000 pounds, and is becoming an owner in, the, in less than 20 to 25 years. Why in the bigger cities you see yourself working out your ass because you've purchased your house of over 400 and something thousand pounds or 300 and something thousand pounds, and you're finding it quite difficult to come to terms with it that you need to become an, a house owner, but as Someone stay in the small city, I can tell you categorically that I can't wait. I can't wait to save up at least 20% of my salary if I'm working to get a house. To tell you that I'm not getting scared because I'm seeing the price and they're actually something I can work with. But if you're living in the bigger city, you find that a lot of them don't actually buy houses because when you go online and see the prices of houses, real estate, you tend to shrink or you tend to go back into your shop because you're like, can I do this? Am I ready for this? Am I this for that? Because of the prices attached to those houses. But if you come down to the smaller parts, you will see that the rural part, you will see that there are houses that are actually affordable and their mortgages are not as much as the mortgage for those in the bigger cities so i think that's a plus and that's one thing i really love about the small cities or people living in the small cities you see a lot of them become house owners earlier than people that are staying in the bigger cities yes i said what i said yeah a lot of them become house owners than those staying in the bigger city. i'm not saying people in the bigger cities don't become house owners but most of them even come down to where come down to the smaller cities to buy a home then put people there renting while they still stay in the big city. So it's easier here to get accommodation in the smaller cities than in the bigger cities. Um, so that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you really enjoyed it and you love my videos, please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I cannot overemphasize about subscription. Please help me hit 1,000. Please, 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 please just subscribe. I really appreciate it. I beg, Una, I beg. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you all for watching. Please have a wonderful day and stay blessed. Bye.